This is DJ coming at you from High Impact Motorsports. So, one cool thing about this, as you can see that bearing's bad, is this is a M19 gear set. So this one came out of a four cylinder with only 30,000 miles on it, which was claimed. Um, and they're not wrong. Um, it definitely, definitely is a low miles transmission just because the synchros are like brand new in this thing. So we're going to use these synchros in the M17 rebuild. Um, just to give you a heads up, the M19 does share the exact same synchros as the M17. So I can only assume the MY8 four speed also shares the same synchros. Um, <clears throat> another thing to point out, if you can't see already, is that third and fourth gear is separate on the output shaft. Instead of having one complete piece, um, they are actually separate. Uh, I believe the MY8 is the same way. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get to work, tear these things down. So as you can see, with the M19 input shaft, it pretty much shares the same, same bearing. Uh, same design really you got the two oil. Um, I didn't count the teeth on the on the gear set to know if they are the same or if they've changed uh, If they changed any teeth count, so I'll be sure to do that But um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad uh, You always got the uh, little seat clip. So once you get the bearing that collar off Synchro out you'll then have a seat clip on right here You'll sit right here, get that off, and then the rest of the gear assembly will just come off. So now let's tear down the output shaft. One thing to note is we don't have a bearing retainer or locker on this shaft. Um, it is just a press fit by the looks of it, no threads. That's one difference. Um, I do not know which four speed is in the Indy Pace car. Yeah, it's just one thing to bring. I imagine someone with an RPO code sheet could tell me but I am curious which ones came with a MY8. And the reason why I say that is because I've heard about a hybrid build that people will take the gears and swap third and fourth from the, uh, from the MY8 over to the M17's third and fourth to get a lower ratio, just so that they can run V8s with, uh, just giving some information out there. I imagine the write-up is still easy to find, but yeah, let's tear this down. So just like before, I cupped that gear with the bearing, stuck a 16 mil going right there. You can use a 9 16 pretty well equivalent. And as you can see, we now have a snap ring. So I gotta remove the snap ring. And then I think I'm also gonna have to press, I'll probably grab it from right here on these teeth and basically just pull this gear set off. So, yep. All right, so to get this gear off, I'm basically using a bearing cup to support the big gear right below it. As you can see, we're almost to the synchro. Be careful not to get this guy entwined with the synchro. And uh, I'm just gonna use the press, push the output shaft out, and we should be able to just grab the uh, gear set. As you can see, it's pressing. So let me get this out because I got to catch it with my other hand. Okay, as you can see, gear stayed. Should be able to just pick these up right here. Just like that. Set it over to the side. Output shaft should look like this. And as you can see, we got access to this synchro. Let me move this. Do this without a... Uh... <laughs> there we go. I mean, look at that. What I'm looking for is to make sure there's no ridge on the face here because for some reason, that's what I'm finding before they break is that they wear down on the face. Uh, as you can see, this one is actually really nice. No wear. And each one of these still feels like brand new. They still have their uh, edging that's not deformed or anything. 
feels good. So now I just got a same thing here, get this one out. And as you can see, we have another snap ring right there. So I gotta get that one out and then the rest of this should just come off. So to give you a heads up, this snap ring right here is actually bigger than this one. So this one will not fit in here. So you can't mix them up. Um, there's a small one, there's a big one. With that removed, I'm hoping to just grab it by this gear and just basically get it off. If I can't, then I'll use the press. But uh, yeah, we're so close to having all these synchros ready to go. So same thing, I just grabbed it by this gear right here. I'm just gonna set it like that. I grabbed it by this gear and then just kept smacking the bottom. And uh, finally it let go right here. Now, I'll just grab this. Don't just, don't just grab it by the shift collar. Make sure that it's free like that. And then you can grab it by that. Well, I thought. Now, we're just gonna grab this whole assembly and just come off the output shaft. All right. Now with that off, Sorry about the camera guys, I'm trying to do it one-handed. Okay, now I should be able to just grab this, set that to the side, and voila, got the other synchro. They look beautiful. All right, so stay tuned. This is a M19 gear set teardown and uh, these synchros are going to be going into an M17 for a rebuild.